economic plan I've ever heard from a major candidate. But Stuart, you have to remember, I mean, he is there in the middle, you know, Wisconsin is tomorrow, there's Ohio coming up next week. I mean, a lot of this is playing to, you know, both Hillary and Obama need, they're vying for Edwards' nomination as well, or Edwards' endorsement, excuse me. And so there's a lot of politics going on even with just this. But I, I mean, you're that surprised that this is his plan, really? No, I'm not surprised. It's not a question of whether <laughs> I'm surprised or not. I'm simply shocked at how far left the man's gone. I mean, he's raising federal income tax rates. He's going to raise Social Security, the hit there. I mean, you name it, the guy tax it, and he's got a plan for everybody to spend it. I mean, come on. Well, he's also... He's, you he's, think this is good? <laughs> I do think it's good. You but think the, it's good? <laughs> listen, the, he's, he's also talking about regulating mortgage, uh, the mortgage industry, although he's talking about mortgage fraud. I don't think fraud was as big of the problem as, as simple greed. You can't really do anything about that. Um, uh, uh, one thing that's coming up also is credit card regulation, banning interest um, on, on, on fees and banning uni unilateral changes to credit okay. card. All right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> These are important mm. things. I mean, yes, you know. they, they are. I mean, so is my tax rate. Uh, Ed Ponzi, what do you make of this? Big government is not the answer. Thank you. That's, that's the main point that I want to make here is that, you see, Obama wants to create government jobs, but he's going to be hurting the private sector. Now, the private sector knows how to create the right jobs. That's how it works. You're going to kill those jobs and create government jobs in their place. All these, It's going to make bigger government. It's a big mistake. We don't right. need to go down that path. Okay, now let me throw this at you. I'm going to take the other side of the coin for a second. Go ahead. This is the first general election that I can remember where a tax increase is a vote winner because it's going to be played as taxing the wicked rich. It'll win him. It's going to be class warfare. You can always, I, I, we know that tune. You can name that tune in three notes, right? It's always going to be class warfare when it comes to raising taxes. There will be a huge tax increase early in the new next administration if it's a democratic administration i'm hoping seriously that that does not happen i think mccain is probably by far the best choice right now lee you like a little <laughs> class warfare i take well, it um, you're, you're ignoring i mean there, he is proposing a middle class tax cut just because he's not talking about cutting taxes what, on the wealthy mean, doesn't mean what, it's bad what, for what the, middle class taxes <laughs> would he what cut he, what, it was part of what he outlined last last define Wednesday. a middle class tax cut uh, he didn't go so far as to define it very specifically so we can't yet but that's that he is he is planning help for the middle class in the form of tax cuts tax credits Credits, and you know that's that's part of the plan. It's wonderful to be positive. It's wonderful to have a great positive attitude, and he's a great orator. But you know what? That's not going to put. That's not going to butter the bread. That's not going to get the job done. I don't think. I think he's a great uh, orator. He's a very likable guy. I don't think his plan is right. I think he's going to create bigger government, and I think that's the exact opposite direction that we need to go in. Well, you know, Last certainly. Word. Well, what is interesting about this is that the one thing that Obama has that I think Hillary doesn't is he he can appeal to moderates. So the fact that he did go so populist was interesting. But I have to say, you know, let's let the voters decide. I mean, you know, he's putting it out there. Um, you may be right, but, you when know, I don't think most of the country thinks so. When half the voters do not pay any federal income tax whatever, why should they not vote for a tax increase for the other half? Of course they're going to vote for it. But Lee Gallagher, it was a pleasure. Ed Ponzi, <laughs> thank you very much thank indeed. You. What, great stuff, great stuff. Okay.